All right, do you need alcohol to be able to socialize with people? I'm here with Megan, who's a model here in the Hollywood Hills, and there's a helicopter flying right now, and uh, Megan's modeling the, the new shirt show on. Sleep is good for the Swannies. Mm -hmm. uh, how much do you drink? Do you have a few wines, a lot of wine, beers? What do you do? I have like two glasses of wine a month. Two glasses of wine a month? Yeah. That's all? I don't drink very much. And how come? Why not? Because alcohol doesn't like me very much. <laughs> it hurts my stomach. Yeah? Yeah. And has it, did it? Did you drink excessively on one occasion which made you stop? Or was it just like, uh, just never really agreed with you? Never really agreed with me. Okay. Do you, when you go out and socialize with your girlfriends or guy friends, is there any kind of pressure on you to, to drink? Or do people judge you for not drinking? I don't think so. Exactly. You see what I mean? So, so many people talk to me about how when they go out, they feel like they have to drink in order to be social and be able to fit in. But you don't, you don't find that? Not so much. Okay. So do you have any tips on how you have fun and socialize without needing alcohol? Pick good friends. That's a great tip. I've always been saying that. When, you, when I stopped drinking alcohol, I found that the caliber of my friends just increased. Look at the, there's the helicopter. We've got a bit of background noise here. Um, like I started hanging out with better people, not that the, the friends of mine who were drinking excessively weren't good people, it's just I started attracting people into my life who, who value... You have real conversation yes. and you go out and do things you enjoy. Yeah, like yes. deeper conversation, yes. you know, and more interesting conversations a lot of times, like things to do with health, to do with fitness, to do with life, to do with desires, whereas when you're out drinking, it seems like the conversation is, is sometimes trivial. Do you find that? Yes, and yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with alcohol just things in moderation yeah I'm not, I've never said there's anything wrong with <laughs> alcohol but um, if you're drinking and it's a habit like you're drinking because you need to feel something or you're drinking because you feel like you need to fit in or feel like you need to be able to hold a conversation then then you've got a bit of an issue I'm not saying that you've got a full-out problem but what I'm trying to say is that alcohol is not the devil but it the habit of drinking alcohol can be very damaging to your life. Would you agree with that? I would agree. Okay, so when you go out now, you just, what do you order? What's your, what's your drink, your non-alcoholic drink if you're out in a bar or a restaurant? <laughs> I like Shirley Temples, and I do get laughed at for that. <laughs> <laughs> you like Shirley, what's in a Shirley Temple? <laughs> Sprite and Grenadine. Sprite and Grenadine, yep. okay. All right, anything else? Any other favorite non-alcoholic drink? Uh, Diet Coke and Grenadine. Okay, Diet Coke and Grenadine. <laughs> anything with cherries, lots of cherries. And as a, as a model, do you not drink a lot because you want to take care of your skin or, or anything like that? Or are you not conscious of it? Not so conscious Okay. Of okay. There you go. So thank you, Megan. I appreciate Thanks. you giving input on that. If you want to uh, learn more about the 30-day no alcohol challenge, just click on the link, which is right here. And leave a comment for Megan down below. Say hello to her. We'll put your, we'll put your details in the, in the information below. But leave a comment down below. What did you think about what Megan said? We want to hear from you. And so from the Hollywood Hills, just show them the shirt again. Have a good day. Yeah. Sleep is good. Sleep is good. Make sure, give them a shout out about the Swannies. Go get your Swannies. Hey, Swannies. Hey. Get them. <laughs> too much light at night makes it harder for you to fall asleep. And too much light at night means you toss and turn during the night. And too much light at night means you wake up feeling